Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Joe Rogan Experience. Sorry about last episode. Frieza told me somebody remotely attacked his heart, so we called 911 and had him checked out. He's okay. Apparently, he's immortal. But anyways, we have another special guest here today. Welcome, Zamasu. You're looking good. You get a new haircut or something? No mortal. I did not get a haircut today. So, Zamasu, I have to ask, why did you agree to come on the show today? Don't you want to eradicate all humans? Well, Mr. Rogan, I suppose I was intrigued by the prospect of conversing with a human such as yourself. Despite our vast differences in power and intellect, I recognize that there may be some value in learning from your perspective. That's really cool of you to say, man. I'm honored. So, Zamasu, let's talk about the future. What are some of your predictions for the world in the year 2070? As a god, I have seen many possible futures for this world, and I can tell you that there are many challenges ahead. In 2094, Israel will be straight up ripped off the map. Bye, bye, bye. Holy shit. Just like, ripped off the map? But why? Not my choice, it's just what's going to happen. Uh, okay. What's your opinion on the current state of TikTok? It seems to be all the rage with people from your universe. Not just TikTok, but social media in general. They're sexualizing young girls, and it's getting to the point where even I'm having a problem with it. It's also giving mortals attention issues. They believe they have ADHD, but it's just because the constant dopamine rush that the app gives. There's even videos of chimpanzees using TikTok. It's so incredibly accessible and the algorithm is terrifying. It needs to be shut down now. I agree completely. My kids are hooked. Have you tried blasting the phones they have into space dust? Works every time for me. I've gone through about 6,000 iPhones. Uh, no, they kind of cost a lot of money. Mr. Rogan, forgive me for asking, but I thought you were a wealthy man. How is it that money is still an issue for you? It just adds up, you know. I don't like to waste money, that's all. I see. Even among the wealthy, there are people like you who would choose not to be wasteful. As a god, I have seen many mortals chase after wealth and power, only to find that it brings them little satisfaction in the end. It is important to remember that our time on this earth is short and that the true riches of life are the experiences we have and the connections we make. And those TikTok booty dances? Can't forget about those. Well said, Zamasu. It's always fascinating to get the perspective of someone with your unique perspective on life. My pleasure, Mr. Rogan. Maybe someday you mortals will understand me completely. So, Zamasu, I've heard some interesting rumors about your encounters with aliens. Is it true that you've had experience with the so-called greys? Yes, it is true. As a god, I have had many encounters with beings from other worlds, including the infamous greys that you refer to. That's amazing. What were they like? Were they friendly or did they seem dangerous? The greys are a complex species, and their intentions are not always clear. Some of them are peaceful explorers, seeking knowledge and understanding of the universe. Others are more aggressive, seeking to dominate and control other beings for their own purposes. This one time I encountered a hostile fleet with over a dozen motherships. They attacked me so I wiped out their entire solar system. Human or extraterrestrial do not underestimate me. Jesus Christ, Zamasu. Jamie, pull up a picture of the greys. I'll tell you if it's an accurate image of them. Yeah, one second. No, that one's fake. What about that one? No, that one's fake as well. This one? There, right there. That's what they look like. Damn, what a creepy little fuck. What about those things the United States shot down? Was that the work of the greys? Actually, yes. They are in the midst of planning a counterattack on humanity as revenge in the coming years. I hope your technology is up to standards. Jamie, buy that $10 million bunker I was talking about. Okay, got it. What about Skinwalker Ranch? What the fuck's going on with that place? Yes, I am familiar with the legend of Skinwalker Ranch. The boundaries between this world and other dimensions are thin in that particular area. But I wouldn't worry about it anymore. I'm actually planning a vacation there. I will repair the boundaries and eradicate any stragglers. This is not their territory. Can you like send me some dead alien bodies or take pictures? I cannot send you the bodies because I eat them after I kill them. They are a delicacy in my universe, but I will send you pictures. DM me your phone number on Twitter. All right, thanks, bro. Finally, I will get to see a real alien. How have you not been canceled on Twitter yet, by the way? I feel like they wouldn't take kindly to your beliefs. I am very tame on Twitter. I just use it to look at attractive images of anime girls. That's a smart move, Zamasu. So is there anything you want to shout out before we end? Yes, actually. I'm in the process of starting a new YouTube channel called All Ningen Must Die 6000. 
It's going to be a place where I share my thoughts on all kinds of topics, from politics and philosophy to anime and video games. I'm really excited about it, and I think your listeners might enjoy it too. Sounds like a good time. Where can people find your channel? I'm still working on getting it up and running, but I'll be sure to let you know as soon as it's live. In the meantime, people can follow me on Twitter at Zamasu the God for updates and news about the channel. And that's Zamasu, everybody. He's a good guy when you get to know him. Hey, Zamasu, try these smelling salts. Get those salts the fuck away from me, mortal, before I show you the wrath of a god.